So welcome back everyone. I just got home from work. Here we are. It's uh, second week in May. Um, I wanted to show you guys my uh, Nitro snowmobile trailer. It's a 2018. I've had it for three years. A little over three years maybe. Um, but anyways, here it is. So I uh, made a big upgrade and got this uh, nitro nitro hybrid snowmobile trailer um, <clears throat> I'll just show you a few things about it, it has all LED lights uh, this is where the, uh, the lights hook up um, seems to be very very well built it's a jack uh, once in a while when you do try to hook it up in the winter time, it seems like, uh, I don't know if this freezes up under here, but you really definitely sometimes have to play with it to uh, get it to slide down on your ball. <clears throat> um, you got this here, you can lock this door, pull it open. Um, I got my, uh, 2015 MXZ 800 e tech and I got my 2005 uh, MXZ 550 fan. They're in here for the year. Uh, we did get quite a bit of snowmobiling in last year. Uh, you can see here these just uh, lockered in right here to this track. Um, then when you're done, they just hang here. It's pretty handy. Um, <clears throat> same on that side. Definitely used it quite a bit. Uh, you got an LED light right there. It's definitely really bright. Uh, in the wintertime, really handy for when you're uh, done riding and it's nighttime and you want to put a little light in here. I have uh, some Advantech for flooring. It's uh, really good stuff. It's really rugged. Uh, a lot of, I know a lot of builders use that. Here's the little, here's the uh, side door. I use this all the time when we're gassing up. Uh, you got a little step down there. I mean, it's not a big hike up in there, but I actually do use this step way more than you would think when you got all your heavy clothes on it's pretty handy you can tell there's plenty of room to uh, move around up in here they got the vents up in the corner right here um, one thing I have noticed in the winter time when it is cold is when you're done riding and you park the sleds in here you do get condensation on the roof um, I've heard people saying that about other trailers as well um, <clears throat> this down here did pop out I need to try to fix this might be able to just tuck it right back in there You're just almost doing it right now a little project for later um, it's really nice. I got the uh, those are the wheels on the other side. I did lose a hubcap though, and I got a replacement, put it back in, and I lost it again. So I definitely got to get a hubcap, it's uh, keep the grease in there. This is the back hatch. Uh, you can lock these if you want, but it's uh, real simple. Just slide up and out. Nitro. Kind of parked right on the edge here, but get open it up and show you guys. So this flap here, 
just flaps open and you can see there's a little wear and tear down there but we've done quite a bit of riding the last three years uh, you got your uh, mats your ski guides uh, they go right up in there really nice sometimes you get dirt up in here it gets jammed up in there so once in a while you got to kind of clean that out um, anyways to see uh definitely a really nice trailer they are expensive that's for sure i play i paid upwards to uh five thousand for this one so um definitely a little pricey but uh snowmobiling is an expensive sport seems like you're always upgrading The door is a little on the heavy side. It does say danger heavy door. Just put this back over. Oh, usually in the summertime, I like to start these sleds once a month. Kind of let them run. It's like a little gas through them. Uh, I think while I'm out here, maybe I'll do that. One thing I can say about this trailer is that uh, it's 101 inches and it's 12 feet long. So even if you have a uh, either a long track, I mean both my sleds are short tracks. If you have a long track um, or you have a, a big two-up sled, there's still plenty of room for them to fit in there. So it's uh, definitely a nice trailer. I've been seeing more and more of these hybrid trailers out there. It's a lot more handy in the clamshell. You just drop the um, drop the gate and go. No dubbing around. Uh, this door right here does uh, background and kind of lock right in right here. Um, like I said before, LED lights. Just a good looking trailer. <clears throat> I have had my uh, four wheeler in there as well. But uh, nice trailer. Well, the grass is starting to come in out here. A little bit at a time. All right, well, uh, that'll be it for today's video. Um, probably gonna get the lawnmower out and do a little mowing before uh, dinner's ready and it gets dark so um, <clears throat> like I always said if you like these videos click like uh, click subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one everybody have a great day thanks